Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful HR dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of this dashboard. And here on the left hand side and on the right hand side, we have created the slicers. Using this slicer, you can easily filter the data of this page. Like you can select the department, employment type or even job role or if you have the multiple locations, then you can just select the locations also so that you can see the data only for that particular location. Here we are showing the five different top cards and in these cards we are showing the total headcount and the average tenure of the employees. Now, if you want to see the average tenure for the analyst, you can simply click here that is 5.2 or for the manager, then that is 5.7. So you can easily see that. Then here we are showing the total training hours. This is the average engagement score out of 10 and this is the performance score out of 10. Here we are showing the training hours by the department. So you can see in which department, how many hours training we have already provided. This is the active employee percentage out of total headcount and here we are showing the performance score by the locations. We have taken five different locations and this whole dashboard is dynamic. You can easily update your data and if you refresh it automatically it will be connected with your data. We are showing here on leap percentage employee employment type and uh, this is the only percentage by the employment type and here we are showing the uh, employee which are on leave from the full-time employee intern contract or the part-time this all data is the some mock-up or dummy data and uh, we are showing the numbers here so you can just update with your original data we have another page here that is the department analysis if you want to drill down it to the department level you can simply click here now this page is the department level analysis here we are showing the average tenure in years by the department so we can see uh, in the hr department we have the highest tenure hr in marketing and here we have the performance score by the department this performance score is out of 10 then we are showing here on leap percentage by the department also and again you can filter the data like here we can select the employment type or even for a particular location then we have created another drill down page that is job role analysis so let's click here so this is the job role analysis page wherein we are showing the active percentage by the job role active percentage means the active employee percentage out of total headcount and then we are showing here engagement score by the job role and this is the training hours by the job role. Let's go to the location analysis wherein we are showing the location level information. And this is the average tenure in years by the location and here engagement score by the location and on leave percentage by the location. The last page which we have created that is employment type. We have four type of employment here that is contract employees, full time employees, interns and the part time employees. So we are showing the engagement score. We can see the lowest is for the part-time employees and the highest is for the interns and the full-time and the contract. Here we are showing the training hours by the employment type, performance score by the employment type. So you can filter it by location or if you want to filter it by job role also and if you want to filter it by the employment type, already this page is for the employment type so you can filter it by the department. Now I will show you the data how you can update your data to refresh this dashboard. So first let's uh, enable the seeds from the bottom. So you can go to the PK, PK's utility tool and uh, you can simply just say so hide seed tab. If you don't have this tab in your Excel PK's utility tool version 3.0, you can download it from our website. This is absolutely free of cost. Let's click here. So all the seat tab will be visible. If you don't have this utility tool, then you can go to the file options, advanced and just scroll it down 
under the display option for this workbook just check this show seat tabs click on ok now we can see all the seat tabs are appearing here same is happening from the top navigation also next seat tab we have the data seat tab so here we have the serial number then we have a department job role location employment type average tenure and this is the training hours this is the engagement score out of 10 performance score out of 10 here we have the status whether this employee is on leave leave means it is on the long leave or it is resigned or it is active then we have taken here few count like on leave active and resigned we just have used the if function if status is on leave then one otherwise zero we have created these calculations just to create the calculated field in the pivot table and to create the percentage also like how many what is the only percentage or the active percentage okay now coming to the support seat here we have created various pivot table for each piece we are creating the charts and the cards so we create the separate pivot table for each chart or each card this is a separate pivot table if i right click go to the show field list then here you can see this is a pivot table then here the next next and this all pivot table for the overview page here now if i scroll right then from here we have the all pivot table for the department analysis these three pivot table then for the job role analysis these three then next for the location analysis these three then we have for the employment type analysis all right so we have created the pivot table then on the basis of the pivot table we have created the charts here and we have created the slicers also in the data you can simply remove this data from here till here you can just delete this and you can paste your data here in this same format you don't need to remove the formulas because it will be calculated automatically when you put your data and once you paste the data then go to the data tab and just say refresh all all the pages will be refreshed automatically inside the support sheet the pivot table which we have created here we have created some calculated fields also let's say i just click on this pivot table then go to the pivot table analyze here field item and sets just go to the pivot table uh, calculated field and here you can see all the calculated fields which we created you can use the list formula also just uh, click on the list formulas so that you can see all the formulas which we have used inside the calculated field okay these some additional calculated field we just have created to create the charts let's delete this now to create the chart like here we have created this kind of location chart this location pivot table this one okay first of all we will insert the normal line chart with the marker so just click anywhere on this pivot table then go to the insert and just insert the line chart so we'll take this line chart which is line with marker let's place this here now click on this plus button and we will remove the grid line we will remove the lesion from here and let's keep the grid line and let's add the major vertical also we can see here this additional button that is performance score and this location so we'll remove that so just go to the pivot chart analyze and field buttons just say hide all okay now we can make the chart slightly bigger and let's keep this here so first of all just right click on this line go to the format data series fill and line and let's take this solid line and we are taking this blue color or you can choose any other color whichever you want make it slightly thinner around 1.5 and we can take the test line so let's say i'm taking this test type now we will change the this marker with some picture or some shape so we will create that location shape from the insert and shapes and let's take this shape which is called teardrop just click here and just click here just right click on this teardrop shape and go to the format shape just click on this teardrop shape and go to the rotate and here just go to the more rotation option here just rotate it on 135 degree and just hit the enter now pick this yellow handle and move to the downside slightly 
like this we can change the color of this let's say i'm taking this blue color you can choose any color now let's insert another shape and this time we will insert the oval shape this one and just click here make this oval slightly smaller make sure press shift key while you are reducing the size so that the ratio will remain same let's place this here like this we can fill here this white color you can change the outline as you want let's say i'm taking this blue outline this one all right so our shape is ready now we will select this oval and this teardrop, teardrop shape right click and we will make this a group now select the whole group using the shift key just make it smaller press the shift key and the mouse like this now copy this and go to the markers and paste it here so that will appear if you think this is bigger then you can make it more smaller like this copy and then you can paste it here all right so you can see our chart is ready now the time to add the data label so just right click add the data labels select the data labels right click go to the format data label and move to the center position if you think your data labels are not properly in the center position you can just pick any of the data label and move to the manually in the center now just right click on that data label format data label and here you can see one new option that is clone current label just click on that so you can see every data label is in the center now just click on that make this black bold and slightly smaller all right so that is how we have created this kind of location chart if you want to learn more about the other charts like how we have created this type of glass chart this progress circle chart and the other charts here so you can join our udemy course inside that course we have explained everything about the pivot table everything about the advanced level of chart basic charts then how to create the report and this type of dashboard also we have given the practice file for each and every topic all right friends so you can join that course to learn more about it friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching